unraveling the roots, Honduras and its African connections. Welcome back to our captivating series, Unraveling the Roots. Today, we explore the often overlooked connections between Honduras and Africa, examining their shared cultural, musical, culinary, artistic, religious and linguistic heritage. Let's uncover the rich African influences woven into the fabric of Honduran culture. Honduras, located in Central America, is known for its diverse culture, influenced by indigenous, European, and African elements. The African influence, primarily a result of the transatlantic slave trade, is particularly evident in the Garifuna community, an Afro-Caribbean population living along the Caribbean coast of Honduras. The proof of the connections to Africa is everywhere in Honduras. First, and maybe foremost, in the music. African rhythms play a central role in Honduran music. Punta, a lively Garifuna music and dance style, reflects the community's West African heritage. The use of traditional African percussion instruments, such as drums and maracas, further highlights the strong African influence on Honduran music. Another area of interest is the cuisine. Honduran culinary traditions also showcase African influences. Coconut, a staple ingredient in West African cuisine, is widely used in Garifuna dishes, such as tapado, a coconut-based seafood soup. Other traditional foods, like panda cocoa and hudit, reveal the blending of African and indigenous ingredients and in cooking techniques. African artistic expressions are visible in Honduran art, especially within the Garifuna community. Vibrant colors, patterns, and motifs inspired by African aesthetics are incorporated into traditional Garifuna crafts, including pottery, textiles, and wood carvings. Honduran religious practices also exhibit African influences. The Garifuna spiritual tradition, known as Dugu or Dugu, combines elements of West African spirituality with indigenous beliefs. Dugu ceremonies often involve drumming, dancing, and singing, paying homage to ancestral spirits and maintaining a connection to African heritage. African influence can also be seen in the traditional clothing of the Garifuna community. Garifuna women often wear vibrant, Colorful skirts and headscarves reminiscent of West African fashion. These striking garments not only celebrate their African heritage but also showcase the fusion of cultural influences present in Honduras. While architectural connections between Honduras and Africa may not be as evident, the Garifuna community's traditional housing offers some insight. Garifuna houses, typically built from local materials such as wooden palm leaves, resemble African vernacular architecture in their simplicity and adaptation to the environment. These structures symbolize the resourcefulness and resilience of the Garifuna people, who have maintained their cultural identity despite historical challenges. The Garifuna language, spoken by the Garifuna people in Honduras, is an Afro-Caribbean language with roots in the Arawakan language family and African linguistic elements. This unique blend highlights the deep connection between Honduras and Africa, transcending generations. There appears to be evidence of pre-Columbian connections to Africa in many parts of the Americas, and Honduras is no exception. While the most prominent African influences in Honduras stem from the transatlantic slave trade, some researchers suggest possible earlier connections. Books such as They Came Before Columbus and African Empires in Ancient America explore the idea of pre-Columbian African presence in the Americas. However, more extensive research is needed to substantiate these theories. As we've seen, African culture has left an indelible mark on Honduras, contributing to the country's rich and diverse tapestry. From music and cuisine to art, architecture, religion, and language, the African roots of Honduran culture continue to thrive and evolve. We hope you've enjoyed this fascinating look into Honduras and its African connections. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more engaging content.
Join us in the next episode as we continue unraveling the roots of other countries in the Americas.